Hello Art Beaters, Becky here for Artbeats.com. I've got a brand new video for you today. Today I'm going to be showing you how to make this lovely little starburst pendant. It was designed by a Starman trendsetter Olga Hazrat. And um, I used some fun green and red colors to make a lovely little Christmas wreath variation on this design. It includes Checkmates diamond beads. Those are two whole diamonds, three millimeter fire polished beads, and some seed beads. Um, and it makes just this super cute little starburst pendant that you can use in a lot of different ways. By the way, this little pendant will be in the artbeads.com design studio with free instructions and a supplies list using all the beads that I'm using here today. And we'll also have this wonderful PDF diagram complete with steps a little bit about the designer and wonderful diagrams for just exactly how to make this cute little pendant that I'm showing you here today. I'll leave the link for that in the video description. Just another look at how cute this pendant is. I think the colors show up a little bit better on my hand. So cute! To get started with our starburst pendant pattern, you're going to need some beads and supplies. You're going to need eight checkmate diamond beads. I have this lovely green collar here. You're going to need 16 three millimeter fire polish rounds. We sell our fire polish rounds by the strand, so you'll have plenty to work with there. You'll need one gram of Toho 15 aught or size 15 round seed beads. I've got this lovely berry red color. You're going to need one gram of Toho 11 aught or size 11 seed beads, round seed beads, lovely metallic red color to go with our berry color. And you'll also need one gram of Toho 11 aught or size 11 demi round seed beads, which I have in this fun kind of shimmery green color that matches the rest of our green beads here. You'll also need a beading needle. I'm working with size 12 and Toho 1G3 thread, which I have already pre-cut. You can find all of these supplies at artbeads.com and I will put links in the video description. I've also got some fun scissors here, which you can also find for cutting our thread. Okay, so first step, cut one yard of thread. I've already cut mine, one yard, three feet, um, and then I've added it to my needle. From there, we are going to add one checkmates one fire polished bead, one checkmates, and one fire polished bead. And we're going to bring that down and leave a five inch tail. I always like to leave a little extra just in case. And then we're gonna pass through all of these beads again to form a little loop and tie a knot against the tail to secure that little ring that we've just created. And that'll really help with the shape of the ring as well. Let's tie that ring. And there you go, you've got a little ring started. And we're going to pass through that first checkmates that we added through the same stringing hole that we came through. So passing through that first checkmates bead that we added, going through the same, in this case, bottom stringing hole. And we've got a little ring, so that's step one. Step two, we are going to add a fire polish a checkmates diamond bead and another fire polished bead and then we are going to pass through that same stringing hole of the first checkmates diamond bead that our thread is exiting out of And then we're also going to go through these two beads. So that next fire polished bead and that next diamond bead. And 
And then we're going to repeat this step five times to create a strip with the open holes of the checkmates diamonds pointing all in the same direction. So to repeat the step, we're going to pick up a fire polished bead, pick up a checkmates diamond, pick up a fire polished bead, and loop back around through that diamond. Then we're going to go through this fire polished bead and this diamond. and repeat again. So pick up a fire polished bead, pick up a checkmates diamond, and pick up a fire polished bead. Loop back around through that first diamond bead using that same bottom stringing hole. We're gonna come back around through this fire polished bead and through this diamond so we're in place to repeat the step again. All right, so I've repeated step two five times. I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven checkmates diamond beads. What we're gonna do from here is we're going to repeat step two again. But instead of adding a new diamond bead, we're going to pass through the first diamond bead of step one to form a circle with the open holes of the diamond beads pointing out. So what we're going to do is we're going to add that uh, fire polished bead and actually go through the stringing hole of this diamond bead at the start of our little strip there. And it's going to make a little circle. Oh my gosh, this is so cute. And then another fire polished bead. Whoops, picked one up. And then go through that last diamond bead again. Okay, so we've added our last Checkmates diamond. It's looking like a cute little wreath here. From here, we want to exit from a fire polished bead. So I'm going to go through this one, the next one. Here we go. Now we're ready for step three. So what we're gonna do now is add a 15 aught seed bead to our needle. And we're actually, we're coming out of this fire polished bead. Um, we're going to pass through this next fire polished bead, which is on the same side of this little wreath or circle that we've made. So you can kind of see there's like top and bottom fire polished beads at this point. We're just gonna pass through the next top fire polished bead. And we're gonna repeat that all the way around our little circle or wreath. So I've added a 15 aught seed bead. I'm passing through the next top. Oh, this is looking so cute. And that's gonna really reinforce the shape of your piece too. So it's a little squirrely right now, but once you add these little 15 aught berries, oh my goodness, it really, really brings it all together. And it's really popping with these green colors that I've chosen. So cute, okay. Just keep going all the way around. Going through the next fire polished bead. And 
and then we will end. Okay, so we've added all our little 15 knot seed beads on this side. What we're going to do is we're going to repeat on the other side. So we're going to pass through that bottom hole of the nearest diamond bead and pass through the nearest fire polished bead on this side of our starburst or wreath. And then we'll repeat that on this side. So we're picking up a 15 knot bead and going through the next fire polished bead on this side. And it'll be, because we've already did the other side, it's gonna be even easier to tell what fire polished bead we're going through because the shape has really started to form now. So we're just repeating that on this side of the starburst or wreath as we are doing with our colors here and it's starting to look oh so cute once you've added all your seed beads between your fire polished beads on this side of the wreath what you're going to do next is just pass through the make sure your thread is coming out of a fire polished bead from here we are going to add an 11 knot round and a demi round. So I'm picking up my size 11 red seed bead and my size 11 green Toho demi round seed bead and then another just round seed bead in that red color. We're going to skip over this next 15 aught bead here and pass through the next fire polished bead. Oops, and I've caught some beads on my way over. Look at that, and this is doing exactly what I wanted. I wanted the seed beads to kind of make like little holly berries on my wreath, and that is happening. And then you just repeat that all the way around. So we're picking up a red 11 seed bead, a green 11 demi round, and a red 11 seed bead. Skipping over that 15 knot seed bead in our wreath and going through the next fire polished bead over. Oh my goodness, this is so cute. All right, doing that again. The red, the green, the red. And you can do this in any colorway since it's close to Christmas. I thought doing a little wreath pattern would be super cute and festive. I think this would look good in all gold. That would be really pretty. I'm thinking New Year's Eve, you could do icy winter, January colors, anything you want, and it would be just beautiful, I think. Oops, where am I? Flipped myself over on accident. All right, I've got my red, green, red. I'm skipping over that 15 aught bead, passing through the next fire polished bead in the loop and then pulling tight to get those beads in place. Wow, this is really looking super cute. Another red, another green demi round, another red. Skipping over. Oh, I just love it. Another red 11, a green demi round, and a red 11. Skipping over the 15 and going through the fire polished bead and pulling tight. There we go, I've got one more in this round. It is really looking super cute, super Christmassy, super festive. All right, I've got my red 11, my green demi round, and my red 11. Skipping over that last 15 aught and going through the next fire polished bead. And there we go. All right, we did it on this side. We have to do it on the other. So what I'm gonna do is weave through the closest diamond of the bottom hole again. I can flip my work and I'm going to weave through that closest fire polished bead. 
and do the same thing on this side. So I'm going to pick up a red 11, a green demi round, and a red 11. Skip over that next 15 aught seed bead over, pass through the next fire polished bead, pull tight, and the berries are there. All right, so red, green, and red, picking that up. Skip over that 15 and pass through the next fire polished. Red, green, red. Skipping over that 15, bringing my needle through that next fire polished bead. Pulling tight to make our little berries. There we go. And we're just going to do that all the way around. All right, so we've got our cute little wreath here. We're just going to simply cinch up this shape even more. We still have those open holes at the top of our diamonds. So that's going to be very easy. So we've added all of our little seed beads and demi rounds. What we're going to do, I finished this round. I'm going to go through the next seed bead and demi round in my wreath. And what I'm going to do here is now I'm exiting out of that demi round at the little top of my berry cluster. I'm going to go through the top open hole of the closest diamond bead. And then on the other side of my wreath, I'm going to go through that adjacent demi round. So this is just stitching up those edges really nicely. So from here, I'm coming out of that demi round. I'm going to go through this next seed bead, fire polished seed bead segment here. I'm going to go through this demi round and try not to poke my skin. <laughs> Now I'm coming out of that demi round. Now I can go through this top stringing hole of this next diamond over. And go through this demi round here. Now something to note, because we're kind of working this way, you want to go through the demi round in the right direction. So if I came through the demi round in this direction, I would be going back to the diamond that I already have stitched up. So you want to keep that in mind that you want to work in the same direction. So I'm going to go through this next little segment of fire polished seed bead seed bead so I can get in place for the next demi round. Go through that demi round there at the top of my diamond. Go through that open hole of this diamond. And go through this next demi round over in the direction that I'm working towards, the direction of the next open diamond. And you'll just repeat that all the way around your wreath to just give this piece even more structure, make everything stitched up nice and neat. And there you have it. You've got a nice, lovely little wreath or starburst pendant all you have to do from here is weave your thread back into the beads tie off knot and cut and you'll do that for your tail thread as well and you've got super cute little pendant that you can use in a lot of ways some ideas you can use uh, different bead colors on one side to make it reversible so you'll have different colors on the other side um, these would be really cute as earrings this wreath colorway so I'm gonna make another one and make these cute little earrings for Christmas um, you can use a jump ring and attach this to a chain or slide it directly onto your string material to turn it into a nice little pendant um, or like a fun textured beaded bead. 
Um, connect multiple of these end to end or hang several from a chain as charms on a charm bracelet or use this as a chain link like link them together for a full bracelet this way that would be really pretty so there's lots that you can do with this fun and fairly quick for a bead weaving project uh, pendant really sweet so thank you so much for watching i hope that video was helpful make sure to leave a like and a comment and as always subscribe to our channel so you're the first to know when great videos like this are out and we will see you next time bye